Hello guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to go over wireless networking protocols, Wi-Fi. So there's more than one wireless protocol. We often call anything wireless Wi-Fi. There are multiple ways of wireless communications. Even Wi-Fi has many different standards. Different protocols have different advantages like battery saving, saving speed, range. So Wi-Fi, all devices with Wi-Fi trademark user IEEE standard, which stands for Institute Institute of Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The first ever wireless standard came was came out in 1999. It was a 802.11a. This was a five gigahertz. This was five gigahertz, and it transferred data uh, to fifty-four megabytes per second. And it was low range, and it's not really used anymore. You know. Then you had eight hundred two dot eleven B. This was a two point four gigahertz uh, range. I'm saying. Um, and it was it transferred tr transmitted or allowed you to move 11 megabytes per second uh, it had better range than the 5 gigahertz one um, it, however it cool uh, household devices such as microwave ovens baby monitors cordless cell phones cause interference then you had another standard called 802.11G. This was a two, again 2.4 gigahertz, and it transmitted uh, 54 me megabytes per second. It was backward compatible with 802.11B. The same interference issues as 802.11B. Then you had a, and then we had an upgrade in uh, October 2009. Which was 802.11n. It worked on both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It transmitted. We could move 600 megabytes per second, and it was multiple input, multiple output antennas. Then you had 802.11ac, which came out in, which was introduced in January 2014. This allowed you to, uh, this transmitted five gigahertz, oh sorry, seven gigabytes per second. And there was a five gigahertz uh, signal. Um, and it had again, eight multiple input and output streams. What's this for? For the 802.11n. So you have different channels. Uh, so 2.4 gigahertz, everything between 2.4 and 2.5 gigahertz, and 5 gigahertz is anything between um, between 5.1 and 5.8 gigahertz. For 2.4 gigahertz includes 14 channels only used in, only 11 are used in North America and 14 used in Japan. Every channel is a different sub frequency range on which communication is done. So hold on, let me just pull up a 2.4. This is an example of a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. So each transmission channel takes 20 to 22 megahertz. Each channel is separated by 16 to 22 giga me me megahertz. And communication channel can be set on your router and different Wi-Fi devices. And a lot of times it's done automatically when, when you set up a device. Only channels 1, 6 and 11 are non overlapping. So 
So this was just another short video on, you know, different Wi-Fi, uh, pro you know, modest networking protocols specifically for Wi-Fi. And I'm going to, well, thank you for watching this video and I'm going to go ahead and uh, make an, another video, uh, which I'll go into other wireless networking protocols okay so i'll see you in the next video thank you bye